Good morning. Friday the 4th of October 2019, 06.45 hours, the first day of Gloucester Brewery Oktoberfest. It's blowy, but it's dry. And I'm not going to that Costa, I'm going to another Costa. Because reasons. Day two, and another 50p off money voucher. Thank you, Tamar. And we are off. <coughs> Strong Woods, Shropshire Lad, four point something. Nice bit of carpet. Well, they're looking a bit. Yeah. And the gorilla over there. So, 4.4, 4.5, 4.0. Creamy, fruity, sweet, malty. Hint of bitterness in the finish. I'll say B plus. There you go. The Lord High Constable of England, spoons. Drain doctor parked outside. Not a good move. Right to the left, tank, Gloucester Brewery's craft beer establishment. And over the top, the twin V's. That's the back of the Gloucester Brewery. I had a plan. <laughs> Sadler's Peaky Blinder, 4.3% alcohol by volume. Surprisingly, when I checked in on Swarm Up, it came up and said, um, good location, nice beers, food, lots of inexperienced staff. Yeah. Head. Clear. Not knowledgeable. Never mind. Anyway, I'm right next door to town. Oh, try the beer. Thought we missed a manning. Mm. Lots of lemon. Lemon and bitter. A little bit malty. Mostly lemon, because of a bit. It's raining. I'm going into tank. I don't want to start the conversation about beer festivals and glasses that are lined. But I love lined glasses. Actually, I love oversized glasses. This is XT Brewing Orangutan, like orangutan, but with orange. 4.6% <laughs> alcohol by volume, I think. I'm in England, so there's England rugby flag. However, don't care. Um, and the rain isn't too bad. Bricks, Mr. Manning. Mmm, this is hugely orangey. And not like. Mmm. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say B. Because five a day. I think this is the beer shelter. Yep, it's raining anyway. October 1st. Let's go. So they're giving out hats. And I have a hat on. However, Paulina Fest beer at 6% alcohol by volume. Um, anyway, oh wow. Look at that. It's raining out, so I'm sitting in here. And it's all very Germanish. Germanic? Oh, wow. That's malty, but. It's a hint of slight fruitiness to it. Plus, 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 plus. This might be a repeat. And concrete. Anyway, Paul, Paulina. Paulina? Vespia. 6% alcohol by volume. Strong and golden. A five or a pint. Yeah, it's all a five or a pint. Never mind. It does have that 
Jack the Red Guy. He's the one in the Germany stuff. He's dead. Which is close to Germany. There's a fruitiness about this. There's a malt in there he goes. They're both going actually. It's different. There's a fruity malty. It's six percent alcohol by volume and it's a B plus plus. And it's still raining. I got a hat on. I think it stopped raining. So we're on number two. Dunkle Vice, 5.3% alcohol, Paulina. Unfiltered, strong and nutty, but still smooth and soft to the taste. And a lad, nutty. Yeah, we're running slow on battery power. And I've had a burger, and I'm going to have a wrap first. And oh, this is cold. Malty, which you would expect. Yeah, it's nutty. Nutty fruitiness. Yeah, mm, malty aroma. I'm gonna give that a B plus plus. It's a little bit cold at the moment. I think it's gonna warm up and be a poker. I feel a Frankfurt sausage thing coming on next. Anyway, number three. Test beer, 6% alcohol by volume. Hacker, Fissor, Rich Malty, smells of lemon. It's a sweet caramel and gumosh. Anyway, that could be me over there. There's a shot. Very lemony. That's a B plus plus. This German Oktoberfest thing is lemony plus. Gold, 5.5. Hacker, I don't know. The salt, hot body, the mild taste. So there was increasingly bitter note before culminating into an aromatic finish. It says, This guy was here last year and he's excellent. There's the beers. Multi aroma. Multi-body. 